Hi, um, I'm Paco from GMS Magazine and although I'm not very used to do this video thing but today I really want to share with you what I have got which is the Book Hounds of London limited edition by Pellegrin Press and I am so impressed with it that I thought it's not good enough just to tell you about it in the magazine I really want to show you so here it is the Books of Hounds of London has been written by Kenneth Hyde, which is a true veteran of the trade of Cthulhu game. In fact, without him and Robin D. Laws, there would be no trade of Cthulhu. So, yay! Thanks, Kenneth. Now, this is epic. The game comes in this absolutely stunning army bag, which, although I don't know, but I presume is very similar to the old same, that the army used to use in the 1920s and 30s and it has been spread with the name Darcy who is the person who collates it, the book house of London uh, in the game. In the back we had a very mysterious sign, something to do with Cthulhu Mythos I guess, you're gonna have to buy the book and find out, I will find out at some point and I might tell you or maybe not. Once we open the bag and this is where the fun truly begins. Uh, it doesn't want to shy. You see, it's very shy and I'm very nervous because it's so cool. Once you open the bag, the contents are truly remarkable. I believe that every bag has different things inside, which is a massive fit. To start with, you get this, which is it's just a leaflet with a foreword from Simon telling you what, what you're bound to find and what's in the bag, which is a very nice detail. Then, goodness begins. Let's go for the obvious first. This is the book in a fake leather um, bound, bind, with very hard cover and surprises begin. That I was not expecting. I don't really know what these pages are or what they are doing here, but I was not expecting this. So this is already the first surprise. Signed by Kane. Uh, I knew that that was going to happen, so no surprise in there. The book is the standard Pellegrin Press Gorgeous illustrations, lovely colour maps, really great cartography this time, they have done it wonderfully, wonderfully. And the usual, three columns, great artwork by Jerome. So, just what's expected from Pellegrin Press. Absolutely flawless, beautiful, beautiful book. Doesn't stop there. You also get a Liber Fuvo, Frater Vigilo, the Book of Smokes, uh, written by Darcy, who died in mysterious circumstances, and we need to find out how and why. This is uh, meant to be his autobiography of the last few months of his life. So, this promises to be very interesting and really good fun. So, I will be diving into that at some point. And then you get what I get, I don't know if everybody else might, but I got this, which is a sort of coins. Now, somebody at work has already told me that they recognize a few of these coins. I personally do not. But these were meant to be found very close to Darcy's body when his um, body was, was found after his death. And also, more mysteriously, there is that, which is a little bit of a map. Where of? Where does it come from? I really have no idea. So it's going to need a little bit of research before I can tell you anything else. And last but not least, this, which is The Knights of London by H.V. Morton. Now, this is a proper old book. This is a 7th edition, published in 1934. 
I don't know how many of them there are out there, but nice, nice touch. So thoroughly impressed. Really, Pelgrane, you guys have exceeded, exceeded all my expectations. So thank you very, very much indeed for that. I hope if you haven't had a chance to get this collector's edition, I really hope that I have inspired you to get the next one for the next product when it comes out because so far Pearl Grey has not disappointed. So over to you now. Thank you for watching.